Fight and love clip. Nothing been doing good today. I just got up, um, uh, got the meal to go. I mean, no comments and stuff. Um, y'all, if, uh, there's too many cards or what have you pops out, then I put them back. Um, so, um, that's just the way I do the cards, okay? Alright, thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming down. God, for taking this as a channel to message you. Thank you, ancestors, the singing masters, for everything you do, all your helpful healing messages, and the truth. Okay, let's get down to the truth today. Alright, we got the peacemaker on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let me see what we got going on. Alright, give us five cards. And let's know to get started. One fella. We got nine of embers. Okay, you're about to come out um, of the volcano. Um, washing away, letting letting go of all the past. Whoa. See, that's too many. <laughs> so, we're going to look at these. People are falling off the path. Look, you're coming up out of this volcano like the phoenix. And these other people are falling off the path because of it. Um, there's a secret. Um, somebody wants to cross the bridge with you. Um, you're popping up out of the mud. Like you're coming up out of the mud like a, like the phoenix, okay? My stomach kind of hurts. Okay, um, what, people are fighting over your, your life, okay? Um, and it's causing them to fall off the path because they're, they're too worried about what you're doing in, in your life and trying to attack you than to stay on this path, okay? Um, they're trying to draw you away from the path. They, they want you to be off the path too. They don't want you to, to, to do this um, divine mission that, you, that, that God has placed on you, okay? So they're trying to get you off the path. Um, you're like wondering like you don't um like you're you're in a in a trans transition state okay um getting on your path okay so we got you coming up out of the out of the volcano um popping up out of the mud uh, with all these um sharks and stuff trying to entangle you and trying to get to you um trying to get on your path okay um, you got others falling off the path, fighting over you, fighting over your life, fighting over stuff that belongs to you, um, and you're still getting on the path, okay? Um, the end result is that you're getting on the path and someone is trying to stop you, okay? And you keep popping up out of the mud. Um, you keep coming up. No matter what <coughs> they throw at you, you keep coming back with something better, okay? It says actions being taken. I was trying to get um, all right. See, all right. Um, on this past life situation, this past life situation is coming to an end because there's other people that are involved in their past life situation. Um, they're falling off the path. Okay, um, you've conquered that. Okay, um, and they they tried to stop you. This is the orbs are on your side. They're fighting for you. Okay. Um, they see everything. They're watching it all. <laughs> it says they're fighting. Okay? Um, you're getting up. You're taking the road less traveled. You're integrating your, your shadow side and taking the road less traveled. Um, you should be receiving some type of messages, um, downloads through spirit. Um, that it should be coming. You should be getting them through like your dreams, um, through the signs during the day. Like um, you might see a, a bluebird or a you know, ask for signs if you're on the right path, okay? Um, talk to your angels. Talk to your ancestors. Um, they'll give you signs um, to let you know that you're on the right path, okay? So you're taking the road less traveled, and the ancestors are showing you the way, okay? Um, that you're determined that, that these people are not going to knock you off this path, that you're you're on your right path, and you're, you're staying on it, and... Um, the ancestors are, are showing you the way. They're saying, walk on this little brick. Walk here, walk here, walk here. You can make it across. 
okay? He's burning down old bridges, burning down old uh, old ties that, that no longer serve you, okay? Um, you're, you're ridding yourself of all that. It's all been written in the book of life, okay? Um, that you get a whole new start. That you're a mender, you're a healer, and somebody's got the brakes put on them, okay? Um, somebody's around you with the, that got ulterior motives, okay? They got, they're three-faced, and the ancestors see them, okay? You're an earth angel. You're about to receive a bunch of messages about this treasure, okay? And the obstacles that you went through. Um, there's a whole new start coming for you, okay? A whole new passion. What else? What else do we need to know? Because we're going to step out into the unknown, okay, as a healer. You're stepping out into the unknown as a healer. Um, you are an earth angel, but no one knows that you're an actual healer. Um, they sense it when they're around you and you, when you talk to them and stuff. You're able to heal them in certain ways that other people aren't able to reach. And they're starting to see that you're a healer, okay? Um, we got messages um, coming in. You're fighting a bunch of bunch of bullshit, and you're standing on the edge, um, waiting on these messages. You're crossing the bridge. Okay. Um, what do we need to know about the? This is you're protected during this um, the whole situation. Somebody somebody's been trying to use magic on you, and um, the ancestors saw it. So they're they're protecting you, okay? You're manifesting a new life. Um, all these people are watching, okay? They're wanting to get on the path too. You're standing at a crossroads, and you're you're staying true to your path. Why? Even though these people are trying to draw you away, you're staying true to your path, okay? Um, someone blocked you and your in your true love. Someone came between you and your true love and blocked you, okay? Um, you're letting go of all of it. Just releasing all of that hurt and everything. You're, you're letting it go. Okay. Um, stepping. You, you've been praying. Like you're stepping out more into the, 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 spirit, the spiritual plane. Okay. And you've, you've been praying and stuff. Okay. It looks like this emperor's been praying. The emperor's been praying about this shaman, about this rabbi, this teacher, the healer, okay? Um, he knows that this is that this healer is the vessel. You are collective, but you're the vessel. And he sacrificed you using magic. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this emperor is the one that's been using the magic. All that's about to come to an end, okay? Um, you've been dancing and manifesting your dreams and praying to, 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 to God. Okay, and all that's about to come to an end, um, that, um, magic and all that shit, okay. Um, what else do we need to know about the magician, the mystic? Something about stability. The sacrifice on your stability, you're about to get a, a new house. Someone's been encircling you, like, like constantly on you. Um, it looks like family members, okay, it looks like family. But you're almost to the shore, so don't give up, okay? You have changed so much um, on a fundamental level. Um, these people can't touch you anymore. You're the empress. Um, you're coming up out of the out of the mud in this awakening, and you're about to walk through that door right there and get your treasure, all right? The veil's being lifted. Your dream is coming true, okay? What else? The peacemakers here. The veil's being lifted, y'all. Um, you're about to, you're about to receive peace. All right, um, it's your destiny. Um, this is, you're supposed to do this on your on your in your lifetime. All right, this is this is the card it was there before. Um, you, you you thought you were stable, okay? You thought that you were in a relationship that might grow to go somewhere, okay? Um, and then the, the water started getting rocky. You started praying and, and giving it up to God and, and, and dreaming the dream and you manifesting the whole your whole wish fulfillment, okay? Um, you're gonna get it all. Like you're gonna get all of it. The love, the money, the 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 adventures. Um, it's destiny. It's gonna cause a storm warning. But you're being protected. 
You're highly protected and highly favored in the spirit world. Sister, I'm sending you in a soulmate to help you fight the fight. Um, help you fight through the, the smoke and mirrors, okay? Um, you've manifested. You're, you're a healer, okay? You have um, magical uh, abilities um, to heal other people, okay? And um, when you go out in nature, it, it, it like triggers them. Um, you're able to open your third eye and that kind of stuff. You're a natural healer, okay? Um, you're releasing all these emotional ties and stuff like that. Um, there's somebody around you that's been fake, okay? Um, been juggling you around, um, but now they're they're looking at things in a different way, okay? Um, they're, they're juggling you around, okay? They were juggling all of this, and now they're releasing all of those negative um, situations that they were in. They're, they're letting them go um, because you're, this is like a graveyard. Your treasure's right over here. Okay, it says they're sending you in a soulmate to help you carry the stone. Somebody that was juggling you. It says they're going to give you a whole new wish fulfillment and love. A whole new cup. It's destiny. Alright, um, some kind of karmic situation with your soulmate. Okay, um, but y'all belong together. Period. Y'all belong together. Someone made a wish during rocky times and learn from their experiences um, about this betrayal, what they what they did to you, okay? Or maybe you learned something from the betrayal, okay, from your experiences. Um, on earth as it is in heaven, okay? Um, you're about to receive a, a, a soulmate, a love to come in. Um, you're the swine. You, you've transformed um, and, and you deserve the reward, okay? Um, so they're gonna send you in somebody to help you carry the stone. You've been alone for a long time, okay? Um, and even if you were in, like, sexual relationships, you were alone. Um, you weren't with anybody. Um, you've been alone for a long time, and Spirit sees you working really hard and staying on your path. Um, so they're going to reward you um, for, for doing the right things down the right path, y'all. Okay, what does what these cards want to say? Obstacles and stuff's been placed in your way, but you, you still maintain true, okay? So, um, just keep the faith. Don't, don't give up, okay? Um, balance is here. You're about to see balance. The angels are watching, y'all. The will of fortune is here. <laughs> Okay, divine is is watching and knows that what knows that you've done plenty. Okay, the emperor is struggling with love. He's in love with you. He's in struggling. Okay, the will of fortune is here though to, to help you out. Okay, we got that's the truth. And the father of pentacles is gonna make the wheel turn. You saw the sun about all the magic. Okay. Um, it's all a sign about the magic that's being used. Gonna bring you in. A, the vine's giving you a, 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 some kind of money, y'all, because of your broken heart. You see that the broken heart flipped over right there? This devil is the father of pentacles. He's coming in. Someone's real skilled, um, uh, in love with you, okay? Um, obsessed. I'll say obsessed with you. Um, they're coming in. They're they're coming forward. Okay, and um, this is facing forward. This one facing sideways. But they're they're coming. They're coming in for communication. They want to collaborate with you. Okay, and tell you what the hell got, went on. What happened? Um, can you clarify? It says they want to collaborate about this money right here. They want to talk about this money. I'm telling you, I can't make it up. This devil wants to come in and collaborate and talk to you about this money and some kind of destiny, and he knows it, okay? He's holding on, he don't want to let go of you, okay? Um, and some, that, that. Making a plan. Making a plan to come in towards this destiny of his, okay? It says, gaining strength. It's total destiny, y'all. It's in hermit mode. Someone left him dangling, but he's in love. He wants to bring in a cup and, and, and share the cup. He knows that your love was poisoned. 
Okay? He knows he poisoned just twin flame. Um, judgment's made on this on this love. Okay. It says the daughter of wands is this this um is is has made some kind of judgment on this love situation and blocked you. Okay. Someone come in and interfered on this situation. That's the truth. Um, they're going to bring you a whole new cup of love. Okay? It's the Son of Pentacles bringing it to the Daughter of Cups. They're probably going to ask you to marry him. Okay? Um, that's pretty much where I'm feeling. Justice is going to be served and you're going to walk away from all that fake shit because you're the Empress. And the Father of Cups is in love with you. Okay? The Father of Cups is the same as the, as the Pentacle. Says you you've had some kind of experience in money that you're that you're gaining more control and experience in your in your craft. Um, your cup was poured out, and the ancestors saw it. Um, the light is is um, that they know that they poured out your cup. Okay, they poured out this chariot's cup. This chariot is moving forward um, uh, swiftly um, with her, their business or something. Okay, and and they have other options coming in. Brand new start. Um, they have other options, so this, this emperor needs to get on the ball, um, because look, he's way up here, and the empress is down here at the bottom, okay, he was in, he, he was involved in some kind of dark third, third party, they put you in, okay, you weren't involved in it, you were trying to stay away from it, and he put you in it, um, being false, okay, we got the king of wands is going through chaos and drama, okay, with this mother of wands, okay, they're a couple, they're fighting, and things are going to move on to calmer waters, because this high priestess has transformed, okay, and someone boxed up their money, alright, and this is a, their, their flame, um, this king of wands' flame is the high priestess, okay, but he's in a relationship with this queen of wands, okay, the high priestess is the star, the, the one that shines the brightest. It says there's a secret. Some kind of secret being exposed. About these lovers and money. What? Some kind of secret about these lovers and money. Money growing, in fact. Because it's on a, a tree limb with leaves growing off of it. Okay, what's the secret about the lovers and the money? Some kind of transformation and and stopping you, trying to stop you while you're transforming, trying to box you up. Um, that's the truth. Trying to keep you from becoming the star, okay? Um, you transformed anyway, even with all the obstacles and all the confusion <laughs> and all these burdens. You transformed and you're about to be the mother of pinnacles. Um, and the mother of cups. You're, you're, you're loving, caring, and, and you're about to be rewarded, okay? Um, you transformed and um, maintained who your trueness is. This is the world. You're about to step out into the world. Take an action. This high priestess is taking action. That's the truth. Look, the truth on top of the destiny. Um, this high priestess is taking action. Tired of all the struggles. Done with it. Okay? Um, wants to get more on a stable platform, okay, on a stable ground, um, and they're taking some kind of action, maybe with a new love, a brand new love, because it's young, what, the hell, man, never had that trouble here, okay, um, the ancestors are making sure they're bringing in a new love, I'm telling you, that's the truth. Ancestors are bringing you a new love. Um, to get over this heartbreak, you're, you're severed from that love. Okay. Um, all these obstacles and, and, and betrayal, um, that's being put to a stop. It's, it's ending, okay. Um, you deserve this money. You're going to get it. There's a, it's causing a tower. Um, someone's holding on to the truth about this sacrifice in love. It's the son of wands. Um, this king of wands. This knight of wands is, is immature, holding on to the truth, and won't come forward and tell the truth about the sacrifice that they made because they feel ashamed. Okay? Um, so they're going to 
probably lose out on the, the, the love of their life and, and uh, divine is bringing you in a new love. You, you prayed over it, okay? Um, you prayed for someone to be there to help you and not to burden you and lay these, all this crap on you. You prayed for it and um, your counterpart ain't stepping up and doing their job, so divine is going to bring you in somebody new, okay? Um, I know you've been hurt and you're still healing, um, but you need to be open to uh, somebody new coming in, okay? And you can't hold it against them, um, what somebody else did to you. Even though you're hurt, um, you need to release it, okay? What do we got? We got the Lion Club. All right, let's see what we got on the Lion Club. All right, we got page two, 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 y'all. <laughs> Ain't no coincidences. <coughs> it says, <clears throat> okay, it says, um, um, Mark wasn't looking for me, Natalie. He said doing his best to keep his voice even. She was drinking a large cup of wine. I know. I think I should take you home, he said quietly. What? And have people see the two of us walking away from the picnic together? That would be a scandal, right? I'm afraid maybe you might be on the verge of making some sort of scene. If I was going to make a scene, Nick, it would have been a short while ago while Miss Elliman so graciously handed me the reins to you as she were suffering me one of her, her horses. Offering me one of her horses. I'm sorry, suffering. Where that came from. It says, Natalie took another sip of wine and Nick touched her arm. Um, could you please stop drinking? It's a bad mix. A bad mix with what? The Adderall that you gave me? Question mark. Okay. Nick put his hand on the lower back and said, Please, Natalie, come with me. You don't want to do this. She looked around at all the parents packing up their gear and spooning food into Tupperware tubs. Chuckling and chatting, um, their arms draped around their kids as they said goodbye to Mrs. Dilly, Mr. Dilly and the teachers. She liked her job and didn't want to lose it by throwing a temper tantrum in public. It wasn't worth it. You're right, she said. I don't. Let, let's go. Um, um, please tell me where you weren't going to try to drive. No, she answered. Yvonne was giving, going to take me home. Um, I'm really surprised that you would do this, considering how we're nearly there. Nearly where? It says, to being ready for a second chance. <laughs> she said, what? She almost lost her balance. Wow. If that reckon, if that, if any of that resonates with y'all, y'all hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification so you can get um, the, new, the new videos. And um, if you want to help out the channel, it's Cash App Dollar Sign Angel Moon Six Two Three Seven. Okay, um, all it is down in the descriptions. Whoa, this one went to the floor, y'all. It says begging. Somebody's begging for a second chance. They're going to beg you for a second chance. Okay, it says scheduled. Someone wants to schedule some kind of time for y'all to meet. Okay, and talk. It says control. They're trying to control the situation. You stay in control. Um, confidence. Omega. Affirmations. Praying mantis. Okay. Someone's left dangling. They're saying their affirmations and stuff. Okay. It says bull. Um, somebody's very stubborn. Like, don't be so stubborn, collective. Um... That's what's keeping you in a stalemate. It's a stalemate. You're being stubborn about being hurt, okay? And you want the truth, you want the truth, you want the truth. Well, yeah, you need to be open um, just to communication before you even get the truth. You need to be open to communicate um, and open yourself up to, to be able to communicate because this is just stop and go, stop and go because you keep being stubborn, okay? It says police. Something, something to do with the police coming in. Okay, it says gerbils. This is round and round and round and round and round, okay? They get on the little wheel and spin around. It says caution. Use caution. All right, we got manifest. 
balloon. You're, you're rising up, y'all. You're lifting up. It says use kindness. Kindness is a superpower, okay? Someone wants to talk in private. They want to schedule a private um, time that y'all can talk. Talk about your talents. Okay, someone might be wanting to come in and collaborate with you. It says you have insecurities because you've been hurt, but you need to release those. Y'all, it says 11 11. <laughs> I can't make it up. I can't make this up. It says eat better. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Someone's coming in, wants to schedule some kind of meeting time with you, okay? Um, you use your intuition, okay? Just use your intuition. You're protected. You're safe. Um, so you don't really have to worry about um, being unprotected. You're, you're safe, okay? They haven't been able to touch you yet. Yeah, they threw some magic at you. But look at you. You've already, like, conquered that. Like, you knew that they were throwing magic. You did the steps that you needed to take to protect yourself from the magic. And they can't do nothing. Um, divine is helping you um, with all of that, that magic situation. And these people are getting, like, stuck doing this magic. Um, they're, like, stuck in their brains over it, okay? It says forgiveness. Like, they're getting obsessed and stuff. Um, it's going to make them sick very soon. It says forgiveness. Congratulations if they're not already sick. I'm telling you. Um, things are changing. People, people, you see it. You can see it, okay? See it in their eyes and stuff. It says congratulations. You're being given one of the most powerful superpowers there is. Forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive unforgiver. The point is, you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, their bad days, their unkind moments, and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself, too. Have fun wielding your new part power, but remember, with great forgiveness comes great inner peace. Okay? So forgive. Um, open your third eye. You're getting, um, you're reaching a higher consciousness, okay? I'm going to get another one for uh, just a regular one. This one wants to come out. Vitality. Okay. Hold on. I am healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love is of life fills me with healthy, vital, and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Everyone has its own sword and shield. I dare you to try and penetrate my cellular army. Didn't think so, chump. Because you're protected, okay? I told you, you're protected. Um, it's okay to forgive these people. It's okay. Um, they, they, influenced by karmic things, okay? Um, sometimes the, the world does that to a person, okay? Um, forgive yourself for, for falling into the, the trap and, um, forgive them, um, because people do change, even though people say they don't change. Maybe he didn't change. Maybe he didn't change. Maybe what he was showing wasn't even truly him to begin with. And maybe he's trying to show you his true self. You don't know unless you forgive and able to open up and allow them to talk to you, okay? Um, that's the only way you're going to find out if they change. It says, you are enough just as you are. Fear is boring. It says... I'm not goal-oriented so much as I'm constantly aware of what I'm passionate about, and I'm constantly updating the list, okay? Passion, follow your passions, okay? Great people do great things before they are ready. They do things before they know they can do it. Doing what you're afraid of, getting out of your comfort zone, taking risks, that's what life is about, okay? So live your life and, and, and take the risks that you need to take, okay? We're just sitting there constantly dwelling on what he's doing, what he's doing, what he's doing. You're not living your life. That's all I'm saying. It says, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Galatians 6, 7. Hope that resonated. It says something about a past. Weapons of protection from it. Okay. 
okay? Stars. You and this other person both are stars. It's something to do with polarity. Understand polarity, okay? It's at least are backwards. What the hell? Some of these are forward and some of them are backwards. I don't know how they got like this. So something about your grandma. Okay? Some of these are backwards. I don't even know how this got like this. It says love, y'all. You're about to get a real deal new love. Like the real deal, okay? Um, this this person that you may have been thinking was your, your twin or what have you, um, maybe they were a false twin, okay? Um, maybe they they weren't meant. Um, and it says what you think is impossible is possible. Nothing is impossible. But you're about to receive a true a true connection um, with someone, okay? What is the what is the universe message? What's the universe message? What's the universe message? What's the universe message? Hope is the conduct for miracles. <laughs> I say that all the time, y'all. Bottom of the deck says, The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Okay? Surrender the outcome. Quit placing expectations on other people. You cannot control other people. All you can do is control yourself and do it the way that you do it. And, and uh, quit putting uh, uh, expectations on other people. Either they're going to do the right thing or they're not. Um, and all you can do is do the right thing and stay on your path. And, and the only person you can place expectations on is your own self. Okay. Got a change. Big change coming. So I feel like something's going to happen today. Somebody might have been born in 75. Or something happened yesterday. Wasn't yesterday the 5th or the day before yesterday? Okay. Um... I haven't got any kind of confirmation on Junior going to the emergency room on 4th July, um, but something um, supposedly big happened on... Look, Jay Bang You. It says Jay Bang You. Hmm. Two X's and equal. X equals X. J Bang You. Somebody might try to shoot you. I don't know. Okay. There's not much. Something about January. Bug. A bug in January. Um, you may have been bugged or you might have been uh, gotten sick in January. Somebody might have got sick in January. It says bug though. It don't say June bug, it says January bug. <laughs> That's fun. I mean, it's not funny, but it says there's a gun. Bang you. There's a gun. Okay. Somebody jab and somebody got a gun and a knife. Okay. Just say it. There's a gun and a knife involved. Something about a bag. And somebody banned you. J banned you. Okay. Now I don't know about y'all's situation, but this fool, these people was parking in my yard. I asked them to stop parking in my yard for this stinky, nasty restaurant. Okay. And um, he wasn't even outside when all this was going on. Well, the they that that restaurant called the police to you because you were telling people to stop parking in your yard. Um, all you did was politely ask them not to park in your yard. Well, they called the police to you, and your counterpart banned you from this nasty restaurant that you don't never fucking even go to, okay? Banned you from it. Um, and that's funny, because the name just starts with a J. It, it's just funny. It says, J banned you, okay? Um, <laughs> from a place you didn't even never even go to in the first place, okay? Um, well, after he banned you, um, 
you were you were like working and stuff, and somebody was offering you a job, um, a ride. Well, um, he he's like, oh, you can come over here, you can come over here, and you're like, no, thank you, no, thank you. You just you, I just I just stand in the road over here and wait for them to get done um, at your business and, and that and that. Oh, come on, you can come over here. What I say goes. What I say goes. So I, I stood there for in a minute for the minute in the road and um, I was like, okay, well, okay, I'm gonna come on your property. Um, if I go to jail or anything over this, um, it's a, I'm, you're gonna pay for it, okay? He's like, don't be like that. You can come over here, and I'm like, don't be like what? You're the one that banned me for asking people not to come in my yard. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like, it's okay. And then, like, just a couple, couple of, about a week or so later, um, he went to jail. Um, he was trying to open communication with you, okay? And um, you, you know, were hesitant of it. But um, um, you had said something to someone else um, that was doing that magic on you. And you talked to him and said, hey, was you doing magic on me? Um, this says Juan, okay? And they was like, no, no, no. Well, they ran to this person and told this person um, about them, um, uh, about you talking to them about them doing magic on you. This person was flipping out, acting retarded as hell, talking about, oh, you're going to call the police, you're going to call the police. Motherfucker, you called the police to me, okay? I did nothing. You called the police to me. And and, and I never, never called the police on y'all. I just called them. The people coming over there, parking in my yard. Um, and all that, it wasn't going to happen, okay? Well, the, it got put to a stop. But regardless, um, he banned you from a place that you don't even fucking want to go to in the first place. You only been in there one time and, and wasn't happy with it, okay? <laughs> but he got you banned. Um, something about a gab, gab, okay? And something about a jug. Someone stole a jug. Someone nabbed a, a jug. Okay. Okay, anyway. Um, there it is right there, y'all. We got bang and gun. Okay. There's a gun. Um, and a jab. Somebody maybe... I don't know. Um, for some reason, I feel like the counterpart is out of jail now. Or about to be out of jail. I'm not sure. Um, but it, I keep feeling like that. Like, this energy, I can feel it. Like, they're, it's, it's right here. Okay, um, Pendulum, is, is a counterpart uh, out of jail? Are they out of jail now? Just recently out of jail? It says yes. Okay, stop. So you may come across counterpart um, feeling the energy that they're out of jail. Okay, something's in the bag. Something's in the bag. You're you in the in bag. You in bag. JB. You talking to me? I ain't in no fucking bag. Bet. We'll see about that. <laughs> Bet. Okay. There's a uh, something about a jag too. A jag. Okay, all right. Um, is, some is counterpart about to come through and talk to collective. They're saying yes, y'all. Okay, we'll see about that. We'll see. We'll just see. Okay, and um, um, collective has a, a question to ask. If you could answer their question, okay, um, answer their question. Something about your ab, abdomen area, y'all. Okay, um, collective is saying no to your question. You see how it's doing? It's saying no. But it's saying something about an ab, and it also says a bun. A bun. So somebody may be pregnant or something to that effect, um, but something about your ab. Somebody might get shot in the stomach. Um, someone thinking that they're pregnant or something. I know it ain't me. I'm not pregnant. Period. Okay? And someone is also still gossiping like a mug about you. And somebody's saying, somebody's gossiping about somebody being pregnant, but they're not. Or they're not pregnant by somebody who they think they're pregnant by. 
Um, somebody may have just had a baby in June. Okay? Somebody may have just had a baby in June. Um, June 5th or June 7th, maybe? There was, there was a baby born. Okay? Anyway, if any of this resonates with y'all, um, y'all hit the like button and subscribe to the page. And um, somebody's being a nag at a job. Okay? Um, about a job. Somebody being an egg. Okay? And they're bugging you. They're bugging you. Okay? Alright. Um, if you want to donate to the page, it's Cash App, Dollar Sign, Angel Moon 6237. Um, if you want to contact me, contact me through my email, and we'll figure out a way to um, do like the personal reading or whatever, because um, I have to do it in different ways because I'm on a Wi-Fi phone, okay? And I have to schedule a time um, because so I don't get interrupted doing it, okay? All right, well, um, like and love to you. I hope I y'all all have a blessed, wonderful day. Um, remember to show forgiveness. Um, you're good enough just as you are. Um, you don't have anything to worry about. Something big is coming in. Y'all get grounded and and prepared for it, okay? Because something big is coming in. Um, I might go play bingo tonight. Because <laughs> I found a place to go play bingo. Anyway, um, y'all wish me luck. And um, I'll see y'all on the flip side.